Hello friends, today I am finally gonna give a tour of my car. I drive a 2021 RAV4 XLE Hybrid and I've had it since January. So I've had it for almost four months now and I really like it. So I guess I just wanted to share kind of a review and then like a little tour of the whole thing. Um, a little disclaimer, I am not a car person. I really don't know what I'm talking about. I am only talking about, you know, the convenience features and what I like about it, really. As far as the process for buying this car, there was a, I waited two months for this car. I contacted other dealerships that said it would be like four months. So I got pretty lucky with that. I decided on getting the white model just because I feel like you can see the lines more and it looks more sporty. So that's why I decided on the white one. I also originally was hoping for a all black interior but they just didn't have one and at that point I just needed a car so I got this one. This one is the light gray interior and at first I didn't really know what that was going to look like. I was kind of concerned it would just be all light gray like prone to stains and stuff like that but I actually really love this light gray interior. Before this car my first car was a 2006 Jeep Wrangler so compared to that car this car is so quiet a lot more fuel efficient and you know, I actually have like power windows now, so that's pretty cool. There are also a lot of different packages available that you can get on your RAV. Mine has the cold weather package. The cold weather package comes with heated mirrors, I think. I'm not really sure, positive about that. Um, heated seats and a heated steering wheel. I found those to be very, very nice in the winter. So if you're looking into getting a RAV, I would recommend that one if you do live somewhere where there is cold weather. This car is supposed to get 41 miles per gallon in the city and 38 highway. And according to my dash, the average I get is 37, which I think is really nice. When I gas up my car, I think my range is like, I think it says like 499 miles, which again, compared to what I was used to driving, like I think that is so good. Or compared to like my mom's SUV, um, this car is just really fuel efficient. As far as safety features go, I feel really safe in this car. There is a backup camera. There are those little blind spot, like little indicators on the mirror. Um, there's also lane assist. And my favorite thing about this car is the cruise control. The cruise control has three different radar settings. So it's like one car length, two car lengths, or three car lengths um, behind the person in front of you. And if you are getting too close, it'll slow down for you. And then when you scoot over, it'll speed back up. Like it's just, it's so easy. Uh, so that makes, long road trips very very convenient they also have an emergency sos button um that basically just alerts somebody i'm not really sure in the case of an accident um which i think is really helpful i haven't gotten the chance to use it and hopefully i don't have to but it's cool to have it also does have apple carplay and i've noticed that if i just use bluetooth the sound quality is not very good <laughs> Um, and I have to turn it up like all the way. But if I do plug my phone into CarPlay, the sound quality is actually really impressive to me. There are also four different driving modes. The one I'm in all the time is Eco. There's also Normal, which I don't think I've ever used. There is Trail Mode. I haven't gotten a chance to use that yet. And there's Sport Mode. I really like Sport Mode. It just, I don't know, I just feel like I'm going so fast. I don't use it that much, but it's cool. I like it. And I feel like this car is really quiet like it's running right now like I'm driving driving anyway it's really quiet it's really awesome I really like that so because the battery is charged when you break there is like this humming noise when you are coming to stop but really it's something that you ignore after a while so it's not the big of a deal if you are somebody who is concerned about the battery um, Toyota has a really good warranty. Toyota's hybrid battery warranty is 10 years from the first date of use or 150,000 miles. So that's quite a while. So far I've had no trouble with this car whatsoever. I am at 5,000 miles and yeah I like it. Okay let's do a little tour. All right so inside the car this is what I see. Um, I like it. I think it's very clean. Um, I do wish maybe I could put a steering wheel cover on but I'm not going to because then that would kind of defeat the purpose of like a heated steering wheel but if you are if you are looking for a fun 
uh, string wool cover. I really recommend the ones from Natural Life. I think they're so cute. And then if you look at the dash, you can see whether your battery's charging or you're in eco mode or if you're using power or something is what I would assume that means. <laughs> I don't really know. Um, then here you have your little dashboard and it shows you the average uh, miles per gallon you're getting. And then it also grades you on your eco usage, eco score, um, on how you start, cruise, or stop, which I think is really cool. This car is push to start, which has been so cool to not have to like pull my keys out. You also don't need to press unlock when you're getting in the car. Like as long as your keys are close enough to the car, it'll just unlock, um, which is also really convenient. And then on this side of the steering wheel, we have our blinker, you know, basic stuff. And over here I have my windshield wiper and there is an automatic setting which has been so nice that it starts raining and I don't even have to put them on, they just come on themselves. On this side we have another little pocket. I'm just storing a pair of sunglasses in there. And then this little sauce cup. Um, recommend, highly recommend this. Now looking at the screen, they have this energy monitor which is pretty cool. Um, it shows you whether your battery is powering the car or your car is charging the battery, stuff like that. We also do have Apple CarPlay, which I really, really love. Okay, now down here, this is where you can put your car in. This, okay, this, I'm a little confused by this. I think this is just like straight up eco mode using just your battery. I've noticed you can't go any faster than like 20 miles an hour if you want to use that. So I don't really know how useful that is, but anyway. And then you can put it into sport or into eco mode, trail mode, all the things like that. And then right here you have your controls for the AC and whatnot. In this little compartment, I just store lotion and some gum. Over here, my glove box, I just keep, you know, license, registration, all that boring stuff. And then I have some napkins, a little plastic fork, and tissues. I have this little wreath hanging from my mirror. I got it from Target, a little dollar spot. I think it's cute. Here we got your mirror, light, my Jeep didn't even have that, so that's very nice. Oh my gosh. Up here you have your sunglasses, and then this little emergency SOS button um, up there, and then your lights. Now here we have the cup holders, and everything has this little print on it, which I like, same with the seats. Um, so far, this is the only stain I have on my seats, um, which is pretty good, I think. All right, so my console is kind of a mess. I have these two little microfiber towels. I have a mask. I have a granola bar. I have some scissors. I recommend everybody keep a pair of scissors in their car. I have a lint roller. Um, and here I have some Pepto-Bismol and like, lac what's it called? Lactaid and stuff, stuff like that. Then I have one of these little waterless razors. I've actually used this a couple of times, so I think these are a cool thing to keep in your car. Perfume, hand sanitizer, toothbrush, tampons, um, some sunglasses, hair ties, gum, just, you know, all the things that you could ever need. In the back seat, you have another cup holder right here. Off of the seat, I hang a little bag hook. This centerpiece comes down for two more cup holders. Um, I don't frequently have people riding in the back, but I'm sure someday that'll be helpful. We do have a little bit of heating control back here, which is nice. Below that we have two little charge ports, and I forgot to mention that there's actually two more in here as well. In the back I also have this trash can, which I like because it's just very sleek and neutral and matches everything. And then of course, just my little ice scraper. Okay, moving on to the trunk, we have this little light, another place to charge your phone, and a side pocket, and right now I'm just keeping these little sun visors in there. Um, I'd also like to mention that the back seats don't go completely flat, but pretty darn close. And then there's this cargo cover, which is so helpful. It's nice to make sure that nobody can see into my stuff. Um, I also always like to keep a couple of blankets, and then I have a little adventure pack in my car as well that just has flip-flops, sunscreen, bug spray and a bikini okay guys well thanks for watching hope you enjoyed my little car tour and i'll see you next time